One of the challenges in moving from classic quizzes in Canvas to new quizzes is that new quizzes does not support surveys. Classic quizzes could be repurposed to produce surveys. But our new setup includes a college Google Drive, and that's really a place to do surveys from. You do a survey as a form. And in this case, I'm going to rerun a, a survey on uh, um, learning mode preference of students. And you can see I've got my first question already set up here. I'm actually, I want to borrow a one I've done in the past. So I'm going to pick up the, uh, I want to rerun it with the same questions. Uh, it's going to be multiple choice, and so I'm just going to pick off these old options that I had from the past, uh, looking at what how students like to learn new material, what's their preferred choices. You might note over here I have a lot of different options that I can invoke to pr put this survey together. Um, I'll go to get these pieces together. I'm in Google Forms, and just follow along. This is the first time I've done this. Why practice? Unrehearsed. I can add an other, but I didn't have that available in the past, um, and that that could certainly alter the results. Other will add an other and a blank uh, for the student to enter the other, but I'm going to, I didn't have that option available to me in Schoology. I'm not going to use that option here in the Google Forms that I've got here. Um, I suppose if it was a required question, I could set it as being required. That's all I need to do there. And uh, uh, from here, I can set various options if I want to. I am bet I don't want to collect email addresses. It'll probably be users in the trusted organizations, but I could deconnect that if I want to. And I probably should, because I don't know exactly where they'll be answering from. If they're doing it properly, they're probably answering from something already logged into the College of Micronesia's drive accounts. Uh, but I'll leave it that way for now. Uh, and you could make it, there are options to try to turn it into a quiz, but that then feeds into Google Classroom. And I'm just using this as a survey. So I think that'll work that way. I've unrestricted it so they don't run into problems if they, for some reason, are working somehow in a manner that they wound up not logged to their account. I'm not sure how that would happen because this isn't a college drive, but maybe there's a way they could do that. You can see some other options here that I can do with this. All right. With that, I'm going to go ahead and set that up to for sending. And what I'm going to use is a link. I'm going to shorten that URL and use a shortened URL to just get that link and copy it. And it gets copied to the clipboard there. And again, I, I it's going to be basically anonymous. And so I'll go back into Canvas and into Announcements and add an announcement to the course. And uh, I'll call it a... Uh, a survey of how you like to learn. Uh, please take the survey at the following link. This is a real simple single question survey because we could only ask single questions at one time in Schoology. Um, this post to all sections won't apply to anything because we don't have sections. All of our sections are now different courses, but later that may get get uh, done. 
and so I have to copy this out to the other courses but let me go ahead and uh, um, I'll let you just comment that's all right and uh, I think I let the, the post before they can see replies I don't want them to be biased by whatever comments might be there they could comment in Schoology of course so um, but I'm going to go ahead and not show them the other comments until they're uh, until they've already done that, done the survey. All right, and I'll save that. That will go out live online. Uh, to get it to my other classes, I'm going to have to use a copy two, and then find my other classes, MS, specifically MS one fifty. Uh, slash two. I'm going to survey just my statistics classes, um, and I don't want it in a module, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy it this way. And I'll have to go look and see if it's uh, made it over there. I'll take a look at whether that's now over there as an announcement. That's easy enough to do. I simply go up here and edit my URL. That's the fastest way to switch sections and go see if it's picked it up as an announcement. If not, I'll have to put it back in. But yeah, it's it's already in this one, and that's the class I wanna I wanna survey and and see my uh, physical science class. I meet them in person, so so this will be there for all serve all of these students there. They can uh, take a look at that. There's the link. So that's how you do a survey with Canvas and our current Google setup. Uh, that's my first time to do that. So it's unrehearsed, me just stumbling through the process. You should be able to uh, complete it uh, far more quickly than I did. Just wrap this up to show you what's come in after a couple weeks. These are, uh, there's a second tab at the top that says responses. The little circle is 20. It's still accepting responses. And there's the results of that one question survey. Obviously things can be done that are much more complex. And you can see, I can also access a spreadsheet with the output from it up here in the corner. Uh, and I can go on and look at details question by question. I only had one question, but I can do that and see responses and even individual uh, responses going through each response question by question. That's only a one question survey, but any kind of th thing you want to ask your students, you could run out as a survey using uh, Google Forms in our Google Workplace. Uh, and that wraps Wraps up this uh, brief, rambling, disorganized, first time ever uh, use of Google Forms by me. If you have questions, please ask. <laughs>